Hello guys, welcome to my channel Netcast on WebTech Zone. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to record your Gmail password without your uh, email, uh, your email recovery or phone number recovery option. So, uh, if you don't have your recovery option, uh, phone number or email ID, so still you can record your Gmail password. How it is work? I will show you my phone. So I'm going to use my Android phone, but if you have iPhone, you can follow the same steps. So let's start with the video. So first, if you are trying to record your email ID from your phone, and if you are using your email ID, you have been uh, uh, using your email ID in your phone from long time. So first step, you have to check you whether your password save in your device or not. So first, go in Chrome browser, go in Chrome browser, and just click on this three dot, which is you can see upper side, left side. Now go to the setting, and setting just go to the password option. And here you can find your Gmail password if it's save or saved on your device. Okay, so here you can see I have password like this Gmail account. I have password. Just click on it, and here you can see my username and password. If I click on this I icon, then my device password will be asked or screen, you know, screen fingerprint log will ask if you have. Then the password will be visible when you click on it. Okay, just this is the normal option which I show you. Maybe you will find your password. Okay. So in device also you will see your password. Just go to the setting and just scroll down and go to the Google. Click on Google. And here you can see the device sharing personal control and autofill. In autofill, if you click on it will find autofill with Google just click on it and here you can see password option just click on it and here maybe your Google account password will be saved you can see I have seven Google accounts saved here just click on it and it asks your pin code your mobile pin code just click your, enter your mobile pin code after your mobile password you can see there is a you can see your password your Google password just click on this icon I icon then your password will be visible here okay this is your username means your email id okay so that is how so last option you can use forget password option of in google if you go in google if i go in google just go to the google okay and i just and try to log in it Okay. If I try to sign in, okay. Uh, here I don't find my add another account option because maybe I have you know reached the maximum login limit here. So I'll just go to the other way. Go to the Gmail app. You your Gmail app and click on your profile icon or maybe if you don't have a login you will see the add another account option just click on it and go to the google and it will take to the next part which is login just enter your login here i just need okay this is my email id just click on next okay I have to enter okay it is already exit so I need to enter new part new email ID just hold so here I just enter new email ID and just click on next and if I don't have password I have to use forgot password option here just click on it now it will ask you the uh, password if uh, but you don't have password it asks you the last password if you remember just enter your last password if you remember if you still don't remember password just click on try another way and if you have you know register number then you have to enter your register number but in this case you don't have register number so you can click I don't have my phone and this help okay answer the many question as you can need 
the recovery account try again sign in answer use device where you sign in before choose the familiar wi-fi okay so google uh, says you uh, uh, may, uh answer uh, uh to record your account try again in sign in try again in sign in use device where you sign in before when if you do use the device same device which you use uh sign in before if you sign in your google account in laptop desktop or any other device use this device don't use new device okay and use same wi-fi network or sim uh, uh, which you which you you had used maybe using the same email id so these two factors are very important to uh, go to next level okay i i, I just sign in with the new device so that's why uh, it's showing me okay just try again and now you have to so this is my new device that's why i just show okay so there's a hint google says us uh, you know show you that use device which you have been used before and use familiar wi-fi or network i hope you like this video thank you for